Okay, good morning everybody. We got a uh, 7 by 8 inch Super Danny die uh, uh, assembly here and we're going to be using our uh, pat pending balancing valve 200 system to evenly draw using two of our COIL 200D cylinders. So we're going to walk you through this and we're running it with a hand pump here. We're going to walk you through the operations with this and uh, an actual punch uh, for this particular die set. And we start by inserting our draw bolts into the punch portion of our die set. And this is where it's a good idea to have a couple of people involved just because not that you can't do it by yourself, but it just makes it a lot easier and better for your whole day in general. So we take the two initial draw bolts here and we work our cylinder on or our cup part of it on. And with those two bolts installed, we can now take and add the bottom two. So your initial setup, you're going to have this assembly here with your punch portion, your cup portion or base, and your bolts are lining everything up. With that said, and this is always great when you have a partner, is have your, your partner present the first cylinder in here and you just take and run your bolts in and you run them down they don't have to be extremely tight you just want to make sure that they're bottomed out and then we repeat with the second cylinder the exact same process. Get that bottom one going here and we'll be in business, I think. Okay, yep, we got our bottom one started. And there we have our assembly in our pre-drive assembled condition. And using the balancing valve, what we want to do is we want to take and load up the cylinders and take all, any kind of pre-travel out of them before we go into balance mode. So we just want to double check that these two valves here are open. And then we'll go to our hydraulic source. And in this case, it's just a regular a hydraulic hand pump and we'll close the return valve on it and we'll just simply start pumping. And it's a little slower when you're using uh, a hand pump of course rather than the electric or the hydraulic pneumatic pumps. Uh, and you can tell uh, when you're starting to load you'll usually see a flex in the hoses and what we're doing is we're just getting an even draw on uh, both of the cylinders uh, to where we can go into our lockdown parallel drive method. And I can see them building just a little bit right there. You can see a little bit of the uh, stud, the draw stud showing a little more. And you'll feel resistance on the hand pump also. And that looks like you're about there. At this point we're going to close our two valves on our balancing valve. And we want to make sure they are securely closed. And what that does is now we force the cylinders to drive in parallel mode and we can just continue on with our punching. And uh, I'll take it and give us a little zoom in on the die set here. And you'll be able to tell it's starting to pierce. And we just continue on with punching and the pumping. As we get closer, I'm going to go over and help support the die set, you know, before it takes and, and just uh, goes ahead and breaks on through. And we just continue to pump and 
once again we'll have you should have your partner over here ready to catch and start popping through the valleys comes. And there's your 7 by 8 inch opening right there. Nice and clean and accurate and to size. And the last instances here is how we disassemble everything and it's pretty much just the reverse operation. We're going to crack our uh, valves here and go back to our approach mode. And then we open that up and as you can probably see here our pistons are starting to retract. We won't make Frank reach through the hole to undo the, the bolts. And so it's a reverse uh, operation here. You just undo that. And if you have your uh, partner here, take and uh, hang on to the cylinders. That left one on your side is coming off. Your left. And I have a cylinder in my hand. We'll repeat on this side, the same thing. Set that cylinder aside. And now we basically have the die assembly with the, uh, the center. And the center, we just take and side and on your thinner material sometimes your slug will fall out just like that but if it doesn't I'll have Frank demonstrate the rolling head bar okay these are available if you do have material that needs it this is 14 gauge material so it's pretty stout however we didn't need it but you would just insert the rolling head and just kind of roll out away from the hole and it peels it right out and I think for today, Frank, isn't that about all we can tell them about the uh, balanced uh, drive system and the SGDD series die sets? Yep. I think it is. So, when you get it in, you know, just take and review this video quickly. And we hope you really enjoy this system. It really takes and does a great job in large openings. It's the only thing like it on the market. Our balanced drive system is patent pending and our final application has been filed so uh, we think you know we've got a real unique solution to some of these large opening needs that you have so I have a great day and a great weekend that's coming up and get with us with for all of your panel punching needs